I'm here tonight with um, Drayden Gordon. Um, how's the weather where you're at? Well, it's been absolutely beautiful today. Sunshine and about 70 degrees, but we've had quite a bit of cold here lately. Yeah, it's been like um, 65 here today. And, um, yeah. I think it's going to be in the 40s next week. <laughs> yeah, I think they're giving us about the same forecast over here in Kentucky. Uh, what was your first instrument that you uh, learned to play? Well, uh, first of all, Rich, let me say thank you so much for uh, inviting me to be on your show. I've uh, been looking forward to this. I really appreciate you extending the invite. The uh, The first instrument that I learned to play was uh, really probably the guitar. I taught myself how to play guitar. I'd taken lessons and such, but I never could seem really to pick it up. I put it under the bed, actually, for about two years and picked it back up and taught myself but I'd been, that was about the age of 11 when I did that, but I'd started singing on stage when I was seven, and I began dancing on stage, in fact, when I was uh, two years old, actually. <laughs> wow. So you've been at it for a long time. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, how would you describe the music that you created? Well, I, I always like to tell everybody that it's bluegrass, but it ain't quite strictly bluegrass. It's a lot of it's a lot of uh, country type and soul type. I like to put my heart into something. I've always said if I can't put my heart and my soul into a song that I'm singing, then I might as well pack it up and take it to the house. I want to be able to sing something that either I can relate to or my audience can relate to. So it, it's really bluegrass, but I do some country too and gospel. Um, how do you energize the audience? Well, you know, I, I always try and do my best to put on a energetic show um, and be respectful, obviously, with the uh, of the audience. But uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of jumping around on stage. If you come and come and see my show, you know, um, we we jump. I jump some, and uh, ain't a whole lot of well. And then I've got to stay right close to the microphone and stuff. But uh, I'll do a little bit of jumping. I'll holler. Um, I like to rear back and lay out kind of almost a Cajun mountain holler almost sometimes. Uh, I've got a big mouth on me, and I ain't afraid to use it once in a while. <laughs> uh, we're going to play your single, um, Soldier Story. All righty. He said, I seen him raise the flag at Iwo Jima. Nagasaki in Japan And I fought what seemed like a thousand battles Didn't know if I would make it home again There's memories I've got, I'm glad to have them But a few of them that I'd like to forget Like all the buddies that I saw dying So thank you to the men and the women Who fought to keep this country free I will stand for the Pledge of Allegiance When they say, don't say, can you see
that song or yes that's uh that's one i'm real proud of i had the uh had the privilege of uh, meeting a uh, wonderful now now he's departed but a wonderful world war ii veteran really a, a hero all those all those guys are such uh, heroes to me and uh, i had the honor of meeting this uh, world war ii veteran and he was telling me every, every event that you hear in that song he uh, he was telling me and i went home and i thought well this just is too good not to write it down so I, uh, at my feeble attempt, put it into uh, put it to music. So it, it, it really was meant to be a little bit more than just uh, words put to a melody. It was really meant to be a to pay tribute to and to honor all of the men and women who have fought and served and sacrificed so selflessly defending the freedoms that we all enjoy. Okay, so it's um based on a live event. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Um, what's your interest outside of the music? Well, outside of music, I—you mean like hobbies? Yes. Well, I, I really do enjoy collecting old uh, old vinyl vinyl records when I'm on the road and stuff. I so I travel to a lot of different cities and stuff and different towns and communities, and I enjoy going to their local, whether it be antique stores or something like that, along those lines. And uh, browsing through their uh, selection of the old vinyl and getting some of those. And I also enjoy some of the old uh, collecting some old instruments. That that habit's just a little bit more expensive. I don't do that quite as much, but I always enjoy collecting old things. I, I like history real well, well. Yeah, the vinyl's coming back. So. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes, sir. Um, what do you got um, next? Well, right now we're uh, we're still working on uh, getting that song that you just played out. That'll be out on November the eighteenth on all uh, on all streaming platforms and everywhere that music is sold online. I'm so excited to be partnering with uh, Nashville Entertainment Weekly Records. Um, they have they have been good friends to me, and I I hope that I've been the same to them. It's been it's really my honor though to be able to work with a great record label and together we're putting that song out. I'm so proud of it and uh, I'm proud of uh, how how that um, how that it's being received so far. I want to thank obviously everybody you know, like yourself that's taken the time to listen to it and uh, maybe maybe share it just a little bit. But it's it'll officially be released on November the 18th this year. Uh, where can um, people go and see your music, videos, and events? Well, um, I'm pretty much just about anywhere that uh, anywhere that you can find anything. And if I ain't on it, then you probably don't need to be on it either. That's what I tell everybody. But uh, you can search me up at DraydenGordon.com. I've got, uh, you can find me on Facebook and give me a big old like. I like it when you like me on there. So I do appreciate that. I've got the, the Instagram. You can follow me on there. I post a lot of stuff on Facebook and Instagram, as well as YouTube. And then I've got some, uh, I've got a, a TikTok that I make a lot of announcements and such on. So, uh, but you can also find the music on everywhere from uh, Spotify to iTunes, Apple Music, Amazon Music, really just about anywhere that music is streamed or sold. You can find it on there, and I'd, I'd sure appreciate it. Thanks for um, being on the show tonight. I really well, thank you so much for having me. I really do appreciate it. Been looking forward to being on here. Thank you. 